praise the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 talks about the armor of the Lord. It gives us details on how we can put on the armor and what the armor means in our lives. Now, for today, I want to read what the Bible says. Verses 10 says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against all the wills of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of the world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We can go to verse 17. And take the helmet of salvation. Now, today I want to narrow down to salvation. What does the Bible mean by salvation? Salvation means accepting Christ in your life. The Bible here is telling us that we need to take the helmet of salvation. Today I have a helmet with me. Now, watch this. When I put on the helmet, it means that my head is protected from any harm. It means when the devil or the enemy wants to do anything on me, I am protected. I am protected. My head is protected. Remember this. The head does a lot of things. What a man thinketh, so he is. Meaning things are manufactured in the head. So when salvation comes in you, your head is renewed. Your mind is renewed. You become a new thing, a new living creature. You don't think evil. You don't plan evil in your mind. Because many things, all things are processed in the mind. And then signals are sent to the part of the body. Stealing begins here in the mind. Adultery begins in the mind. So when the Bible tells us, take the helmet of salvation what he is trying to tell us it is that we need to guard our mind we need to guard our thinking we need to give it to the Lord because when we are protected from evil thoughts by the helmet of salvation meaning salvation is a helmet in our lives when we are protected, then the enemy cannot be part of our lives. Now, this is a helmet for a motorbike. When you are riding your motorbike, you are protected from harm because you have the helmet. Now, the helmet, if you fall, the helmet will not allow your skull to break because it is protecting your head. Now, if you fall, then salvation in your life will protect you. You will stand strong. The fires of the enemy will not take you down because greater is he that is in you than he who is in the world, meaning the greater one is the one who has brought salvation in your life. So I encourage you, please, to have one of these, one of the spiritual helmets, which is free of charge. Don't just walk open-headed with no protection because the devil is targeting your mind. He is targeting your head and he will take you down if you are not protected. So the Bible says, and take the helmet of salvation. Now, when we go back to the scripture that I, I read in verses 12, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We wrestle against very serious beings, against the enemy who has principalities, who has powers. So we need to be protected from everything that he's planning. He will bring that from all directions. He will bring evil thoughts in your mind. That's why you need to be protected. 
When you protect yourself, then you'll not be in a position to be taken down. When you wear that helmet and you protect yourself very well, when you're protected, even your eyes will be guarded. Your ears, your mouth will be guarded. You will not hear gossip. You will not see what is wrong. That's why Job says, I have made a covenant with my eyes that I will not look at a young woman last freak. So you are protected. You have protected everything about you. Because this is your head. The Bible says this is the, the place that things are processed. If you think evil, you become evil. If you think good and positive, you become blessed. Praise the Lord. So I encourage you to be saved. Don't just be a person who says that I do good deeds. You are on the front line of war. You are in the front line. You need to be protected. The protection that you need is the helmet of salvation. If you get the helmet of, the sal of salvation, it will protect you from all the furries of the enemy. It will protect you from all the attacks. It will protect you from the things that he is planning in your life. He may be thinking that you don't have the protection. He may be thinking that your helmet is weak. But when you get saved, when you start serving the Lord, He will give you a firm helmet. He will give you the helmet that will protect you from all attack. The helmet of salvation is strong. It is even more stronger than this one. It is made of solid material. Solid material, full of scriptures. That's why Jesus was tempted. But He quoted the word of God. He said... It is written, I encourage you to give your lives to the Lord so that He can protect you, so that your head will be protected by the helmet. You will not be taken down because you have no helmet on your head. So I encourage you, my viewer, wherever you are, it doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter if there is no church in your location. Let me tell you something. Right now, I've come in your house. I've come through technology to bring you this news of Jesus. When you go through the Bible, it says, And take the helmet of salvation so that it can protect you from all the attacks of the devil. So when you take the helmet of salvation, you will be protected from all the attacks, from all wickedness, from all evil thoughts in your life. And your life will start shining because you have a renewed mind. You have a mind of God. You are thinking positive. You are thinking blessings. You are thinking things that are uplifting unto the Lord. You are not thinking evil. The Bible says meditate upon my word day and night. So when you are saved, when you are full of the word, when you have the helmet, your mind will be meditating upon the word of God day and night. It will not give the devil room to attack. So I encourage you to put on the helmet of salvation. When you put on the helmet of salvation, have faith, be strong, continue digging deep into the word of God so that the devil cannot have a loophole to attack. I encourage you, please give your life to the Lord because through that, then you will be protected from evil. You will be protected from the attacks you will live a righteous life, a joyful life. I want to pray with you if you have not given your life to Him. Maybe you are in Pakistan, maybe you are in China, the places where salvation is rare. Let me tell you something. It begins with you today. You need to make a step of faith and see what God can do in your life. 
Say, Lord Jesus, I accept you in my life as my personal Savior. I take you in my life to be a protection over me. My mind is renewed. I will be thinking of you. May you block all evil thoughts in my life. From today, I will serve you and serve you for the rest of my life. Amen. Please continue to to watch all of our or all of our videos in this channel because I know that this channel has been a blessing to many people. And please know that when you watch these sermons, you will grow and your helmet will be stronger and you will be in a position to stand against all the attacks of the devil. I encourage you to pray with this, pray with us so that we can continue also to bring you the new good news of Christ that is refined and it is not tainted by other, what, other things that are not godly. We bring you good news of Christ which is polished, which is sweet, and which is true in your own house. May the Lord bless you. You can support our program by the numbers at the end of this broadcast. Amen.